For the trip for me, 18 pound common. Cracking way to start the morning. Middle rod bent over, fishing tight to the bushes on the far bank. First one for the seafood takeaway for me. Let's just hope they're going to get bigger. And here we are at the fabulous La Russie. We're in central France, just outside Le Mans. Uh, it's now Monday mid morning. We've been here since Saturday. Um, when we first got here, there was a lovely, sort of westerly, um, pretty strong wind, overcast. We saw a few fish rolling. Um, but since then, as we were starting to get the gear together, uh, the sun came out and it's been sort of 25, 26s, even up to 32s yesterday afternoon, so not the best weather for fishing. Uh, I had my first carp this morning, uh, 18 pound common that you would have seen previous. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's only been two carp out up to yet. Uh, Lee's had a 38 or 37 pound mirror, personal best, first time out in France as well. Uh, Jason, within half an hour of setting up, had one of the sturgeon. I think it was around about £52. Uh, Gaz, around about the same time as Jason, also lost one. Had to go out in the boat, snagged him up. Unfortunately, the hook link parted. Um, but as I say, we're two nights in now. Had my first carp this morning. Um, found a few little spots to the far bank, under the bushes. and Just trickling in the bait there. It's where I've had one of the bites from now. So. I'm going to concentrate on that area uh, with at least the one rod. Uh, there's a lot of fish sort of out in the middle, maybe off just a little bit further down towards Roy, Roy and Lee, uh, surfacing, cruising, splashing. So I'm going to get a zig out there as well for today. Um, so yeah, let's sit back, relax. We've got five more nights to go and hopefully we'll be getting a few more fish on the video. That's a fish slapping, the cat belly. Right, well I just thought I'd take the time to show you through one of the rigs that I'm going to be using um, for the duration of our stay here at La Russie. And um, there's a few changes um, to my normal rig in that it's a barbless only water. Um, so I'm having to go along with one of the size 8 wide gapes. Um, I've got that attached to around about 12 inches of Solar's Easy Strip material in the brown colour. I always favour the brown, just a personal choice really. Um, as you can see on the hook there, I think especially important on a barbless only water is to get a nice curve and a nice kicker with a bit of shrink tubing just to help nail that hook home. Um, stops it from slipping so much when you are actually playing a fish with a barbless hook. I've got a couple of blobs 
of putty at various distances. I do like to keep one just just in front of the string tube there. Just I, I think that it makes makes the eye of the hook slightly heavier. Just just unbalances everything really. Um, bait wise, uh, I've brought over 15 kilo of the new seafood takeaway. Uh, this will be the first time that I've tried it. Uh, I know that it's doing well uh, across the continent as well as where it's been fished uh, down south in Kent. Um, I know there's a fair few captures coming on it already, so I've come I've come here with full of confidence. I don't think there's any real issues with. Uh, my choice of bait even though I've never used it before I'm pretty sure that it will nab these fish in La Russie. and just to tip it off there I've got a little piece of, of yellow plastic corn really just as a visual again maybe unbalance the big 18 mil bottom bait and uh, just that little bit give a little bit of buoyancy um, and on the other end as always if I'm using a swivel I don't know if that can be picked up there I'm actually using uh, the flexible bearing swivels from Solar. Again, just something that little bit different to the normal. Got a lot more flexibility, a lot more movement with these uh, with these size eight swivels uh, to a standard barrel. So it's just something that I do like to uh, to use when I am using them. Swivels that is, because nowadays I am using just a lot of figure of eight loops in the end and uh, just easy on and off clippings, um, sort of uh, sort of design. But yeah, this is this is basically it. Um, I, well, I, I don't know if you've you've picked up on that. I have got just a little uh, rig ring just sitting on the bend on the shank of the hook there. That's just to once again, you know, just a little blow back keeps it all nice. Um, I don't think it's going to be uh, a case of having to go too complicated. Um, I will change accordingly if need be. Um, but this is how I'm going to be starting. That's big. <laughs> That's big. <laughs> That's big. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this fish is a, is a creature. Creature? Creature, yeah. The in, creature. In English. Oh, okay, yeah. How do you spell that? How do you say? Creature. 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 In, in French, it's creature. It's actually the same word. How big normally, midday? 55. 55? <laughs> that's, that's it's very stuff. dark. <laughs> 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 yes, that's been underneath there, yeah. mate. Yeah. So 
même au temps, t'sais. We're on the floor. <laughs> We're on the floor. Huh? Look. What was it? It's still touching here. I need that. Oh, j'ai pris. Ooh, look at the bars. Fifty-seven. Mm. Look at the weight. Fifty-seven. Fifty-seven. Fifteen-seven and a half. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> Let's go. Come on! Well, yeah! <laughs> well, what can I say? It was a long time coming. It's now Thursday afternoon. It has been really, really quiet this week. It's been the hottest week so far in France this year. Um, we haven't had the greatest week fish capture-wise. Uh, we're now on Thursday afternoon, as I say. I always class Thursday as Big Fish Thursday when we're in France. Um, don't ask me why, maybe it's because we're like five or six days into the session, um, but it always seems to happen on the Thursday once again. Uh, fish known as the creature, um, named by Medi, uh, 57 and a half pounds, beats my PB by a good 11, 12 pound, absolutely over the moon. Time for a party. Hi. Well done on your 57. <laughs> Well, after the last three days of low air pressures, mizzling rain, and 24 hours later after the capture of the creature, uh, we're now back to bright blue skies. It's 28, 29 degrees today. I'm actually standing in the shade just out of the way of the sun. It's absolutely scorching hot. Um, just on reflection of the capture, as I say, it was a new PB by 11 pounds. So uh, I'm still, it's, it's all just a blur to me at the minute still. Um, a great great feeling uh, on speaking to Medi about the the fish uh, which as I say is named the creature uh, it's actually the heaviest weight that it's ever been out on uh, a lot of the big fish that reside in La Russie haven't um, actually spawned at this point yet according to Medi uh, he did say that if one of the big ones were to slip up then it probably would be at one of the heavier weights um, previous captures the creatures only ever been out at 55 pound maximum so again, 57 and a half pound is the biggest that the creature has ever been out at, which again makes it even that more special. Obviously I take great care whilst the fish was on the bank. Um, if it's holding a little bit of spawn, you don't really want to be handling them too much. As you saw, I did jump in the water, got straight in there and uh, rolled off most of, the, most of the shots in the water, cradling the weight of the fish. Um, so yeah, we've We've nearly come to the end of our session. We've got another perhaps 18 hours before we've got to pack up. Um, as I say, it's not been the greatest week fish-wise for everybody. There has been a few um, that haven't had any action, um, which was always going to be the case on a lake like La Russie. It's not your out-and-out -out French uh, runs water. 
um, but I think we've all had a great holiday. It can be expected at this time of year, especially the first week of July. It's never going to be the, the carpiest weather, shall we say. Um, but yes, I would definitely come back here. It's been a brilliant time, so thank you to Mehdi. Um, let's just hope that we can round this video off with one or two more captures.